I feel like I learned that when I was in college, right after we were married with James, <laughs> he was born, he was like a few months old. And I went back to school. I went just for one class and it was um, digital photography. And I actually skipped the prerequisite to it that was film photography. So everybody else knew a lot more about photography than I did, but I was really good at it. And I showed my teacher that we had actually been doing photo shoots to be able to get into that class. And she's like, oh, you can skip, you can skip the film photography and just come in and learn from here. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but during that class, it was like my favorite class. I loved that class. And one of the things, and actually most of what the class was, was teaching, you know, all the different settings on a camera, but then it was also teaching constructive criticism and how, like, <laughs> it was horrible and it was so good at the same time because they would have uh, a word, they would give a word every single day, a new word. I remember, like, lugubrious was this crazy word that they use and it meant like sorrow or mourning or something. Exaggerated. Exaggerated sorrow or mourning. Or like um, oh, luxurious. I remember them doing luxurious. And like everybody in the class, it was just a bunch of kids and the teacher and we would all be like, okay, what are we gonna, what word are we gonna use? And everybody would shout out a bunch of words until the teacher was like, okay, let's do this one. And then she'd write it down on the board and she said, everybody go. She said we were supposed to take a thousand pictures her word and i was like no i did not do that i was like there's no way i'm gonna do that and like keep all those pictures and sort through all those pictures plus i had already done photography so i felt like i could i could like f filter through as i went a little bit better because i had the experience of editing them afterwards and sorting through them afterwards which is a big deal right so anyways i only ever took like i think a hundred or two <laughs> <laughs> per picture that's all you needed but like then we would take the picture and i would have to go edit the picture and then we would bring it to in front of the teacher and in front of the whole class we would stand up next to our picture and they would tell us what we liked about it what they liked about it and what they hated about it and some of those <clears throat> were so painful <laughs> Like, especially if it was something that we didn't notice about our own picture, but that we loved the picture. And then they were like, it looks like, I remember I took a, pic a picture of Jessica. It was a musical thing. And she had her fingers on an oboe and it made it look like she only had three fingers. She, it was like this or something. And everybody's like, she looks dumb. She looks horrible. Why'd you pick that picture? Blah, blah, blah. There's, there's like something. Wrong. And I was like, oh, it hurts so bad. I still remember every critique. But then on the flip side, it was like, if I was good at it, it just blew me away how they were like, this looks perfect. And I would be like, I guess it gave me a gauge to know if I was, if I was actually good or not with the things I was working on. Cause then I was like, not afraid to hear 